Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. We're out here in mm -hmm. Amethyst Canyon in the Kingston Range and we're going to go hunting for some amethyst. Mm -hmm. So let's go. The Kingston Range is a mountain range located in southeastern California, about five miles from the Nevada border and 40 miles from Las Vegas as the crow flies. And it is of great interest, both geologically and in terms of rock hounding. I guess rock hounding is also geologically. Um, the interesting thing to geologists is that Kingston Peak Formation, which uh, shows iron and glacial deposits from 700 million years ago, which really provides geologists valuable insight into the history of the Earth. However, in terms of rock hounding, the unit that we are more concerned with is that Miocene granite and quartz monzonite Kingston Peak Pluton, and I'll tell you exactly why. So that Kingston Peak Pluton is so important to us for two main reasons. First of all, it's a granite, and granite is a type of rock that gets crystallized under intense heat and pressure under the earth, which gives crystals a chance to grow big. And the big crystals that we can find here are quartz, particularly amethyst, because the area is enriched with iron. And due to a combination of complex tectonic processes such as strike-slip faulting in California associated with the San Andreas and related faults as well as basin and range tectonic deformation, several faults, cracks, fissures, and joints opened up in the granite what was still cooling underground, which allowed quartz to come into these pockets and crystallize into large phenocrysts like you're seeing now. Additionally, due to the relative enrichment of iron in this pluton, a lot of that quartz crystallized is amethyst, and amethyst gets its purple color from trivalent iron ions, Fe3+, binding itself to the SiO2 structure of quartz and giving it that purple color. So without further ado guys, enough chit chat, let's go! So as previously mentioned guys, the Kingston Range is located about 40 miles southwest of Las Vegas as the crow flies, but unless you have a 4x4 vehicle, that drive is going to be about 90 miles. So to get there from Vegas, take I-15 south into California until you get to exit 272 for SEMA Road. You're going to want to take the exit to head north. Head north for 29.3 miles. It'll turn into a road called Excelsior Mine Road. It's a little bit rough, but honestly, any car can make it. There's just a lot of potholes. So you're going to want to continue until you get past Horse Horse Thief Springs slash pass, which is this area, and in the next valley, just park on the side of the road and you'll be there. Alright guys, we are out here in the Kingston Mountains, ready to go looking for some amethyst. Let's go. Alright y'all, we are just going up this wash en route to the ridge up there at the base of the mountain, but uh, we'll keep our eyes open and we'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. I'm just gonna include a little tidbit of geology, probably about 30 seconds of it. So the geology of this area, this entire place is made up of granite, which is an intrusive igneous rock that gets crystallized under the surface of the earth and brought up via tectonic processes. So out here, the quartz really occurs in faults, joints, and planes of weakness in the granite. And uh, we're gonna look for faults, joints, and planes of weakness in the granite, because that's where the quartz is gonna be. We are not at the site yet. We're just in the wash, but if you look here, my friends, this is a vein of quartz. We have got ourselves some nice, well-defined quartz. Not amethyst. Amethyst is purple because it uh, has iron impurities and the iron turns it purple. But look at these very well-developed quartz crystals. Very nice. Here's a more stable look because obviously my hands can't keep themselves still. These are gorgeous. Look at how well defined they are. Just, oh man. Those are beautiful. Here's another one of these uh, quartz veins downstream of the main vein where we're gonna find amethyst. But as you guys can see guys, there's just an abundance of well developed, gorgeous quartz phenocrysts out here. So uh, we're not even at the base camp yet. We're just hiking up the wash to get there. And as you, as you guys can see, just gorgeous, gorgeous specimens right here in the rock. Not amethyst. We don't have that uh, iron purple coloration, but we're going to get some furthermore. So uh, let's keep going. Here's a voiceover because the wind literally wasn't blowing until I started talking. Thanks, God. Anyways, this is a road that we're going to take to go up to a little base camp we're going to set up to uh, split up into groups and see what we can find up in them hills over there. Let's go. One thing I'd like to note, guys, is that the Kingston Range is on BLM land, so you're allowed to take however many specimens you want here. Check out that view of the Spring Mountains. That highest mountain right there is Mount Charleston, the famed Mount Charleston. We were looking at it from the south side, and you can see the backside of Red Rock, 
and that prominent mountain over there in the background is Mount Potosi. So a uh, different perspective from Vegas for sure. And the Spring Mountains are just gorgeous. And we are making our way up to Amethyst Canyon. I think they call it that. If they don't, I'm calling it Amethyst Canyon. So uh, let's do it. All right, y'all. So we have arrived here at base camp right uh, towards the end of the road. We have Emily right there. And uh, we're going to split into teams. Three of us are gonna go up into the mountains to survey. I brought a bunch of maps and all that and you know some writing equipment to uh, denote where we find the amethyst. And some of us are going to stay down here at the base camp to watch our stuff. And then once I finish surveying, we're gonna come back down and we are going to rendezvous and I will take us to the spots where the amethysts are. So let's go. So this is like a real life scavenger hunt. We're, uh, we're surveying and uh, the other three are at the base camp, Deanna, Ryan, and Emily. So uh, we're gonna report back to them once we find this place. Let's go. Well, looky here, folks. We found some, uh, some real nice quartz. We ain't at the amethyst yet, but we're making our way up there. Look at this. We've got some real nice, well-developed specimens here. So uh, take note of that. Oh yeah. No amethyst yet, but we're finding a lot of well-defined quartz right here in the rock. So I think that we are getting closer and closer to the amethyst vein. I mean, look at these babies. We're getting further and further up into the mountains. I think we're closer to where the amethyst is, guys. Let's see. All right, y'all, we are up here high in the mountains, the Kingston Mountains. We found a nice vein of amethyst and I am going to go prospecting for it using my handy dandy pickaxe. And safety is of the utmost importance, so I don't want to uh, go blind or have a nasty scar on my face. So I have the face shield and the goggles on. Let's go. Okay. It's an amethyst. I found a real nice amethyst right here. Gonna have to clean that up and uh, show you guys when it's all clean at home. All clean. Pretty purple too, not too deep purple, but we got the purple in there. That's an amethyst. Look at that one. That is a gorgeous crystal of amethyst that Ryan right here found. Deanna found some nice amethyst here too. Do you guys see that gorgeous color right there? Woo! Look at this one that Emily found. That's just like, that is perfect. That is the perfect crystal. Here's a really nice one that Deanna found. Look, look at the development of that crystal. That's just, that's gorgeous. And then look at that purple amethyst just right there in the uh, regular quartz that's just wow i seem to have uh, struck a vein right here i have found several really really nice specimens just from that exact spot so you gotta know where to look you gotta have the geologist's eye well y'all i want to show you something this my friends this is some gorgeous amethyst that I found. It's very dirty right now because it was buried and we had to dig it up. But uh, I'm going to take this home. I'm going to clean this off and I will show you guys that you can already kind of see that brilliant purple in it. But once I take this home, y'all are gonna see this for real. I will show you. So here's a look at that amethyst specimen that I uh, dug up. It's, uh, it's a really nice specimen, you know. We don't have the deepest purple in there, but we still got some iron. It's definitely an amethyst. And we've got some really, really nice, almost perfect quartz crystals, you know. The trigonal crystal system with the ideal six-sided prisms terminating with six-sided pyramids. So this was a great find. Well, we have tapped into a nice quartz vein right here. I'm excited to uh, show you guys some of our loot. Well, it's nice if you hold it up, you mm -hmm. can see them a lot better. The light. Yeah. Well, guys, I found this crystal head and Libby just washed it. And look at that. That is just a gorgeous, well-developed amethyst crystal. Oh, God. Look at that. Woo! Meanwhile, Catherine's still over there. I don't know what's happening to me. I just keep pulling up rocks, but I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> She's been there like for the entire time, that exact spot, but this is a rich cord spot, guys, for sure. All right, y'all, so we have spent the last like hour and a half, two hours just going to pound town out here. We found gorgeous cord veins, some nice amethyst specimens, and uh, 
there's one of the bags. We're packing up and I'm excited to show you guys some of our loot. So uh, stay tuned for that. So not only did we find a lot of nice amethysts like the specimens that you saw earlier in the video, but we also found three more varieties of quartz. We found regular quartz, we found citrine, and we found smoky quartz. So there was a lot of good old regular quartz out there. I mean, regular quartz is more common than amethyst, citrine, or smoky quartz, and it's colorless because it doesn't really have any uh, chemical impurities in it. But we found several nice specimens, including a few that we might make necklaces out of. One characteristic of quartz that's really pretty is that vitreous luster, which is what you're looking at, as it reflects light in a really beautiful way. Now, citrine is a really interesting variety of quartz because what it is is it's basically amethyst or smoky quartz that gets heated up and it turns orange. So it just goes to show you guys that the earth is alive and well because in order for this to have become citrine, it would have had to have been heated to at least 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, citrine is a secondary quartz mineral, which means it's not deposited as the pluton is being made. It had to have been formed afterwards. So it would have had to have been amethyst or smoky quartz that was altered by heat. So my postulation is that this is evidence of a hydrothermal fluid vein that just went through the quartz vein and turned the amethyst into citrine. Who knows though? The last variety of quartz that we found out there, smoky quartz, is pretty similar to amethyst, except for the fact that the black that it has is because of aluminum, whereas the amethyst has purple because of iron. So pretty much all of the smoky quartz crystals that we found out there were pretty small. It wasn't too abundant, but it was there nonetheless. All in all guys, the Kingston range where we went rock hounding for amethyst is most known for amethyst. And we did find several nice amethyst specimens. I'll just show you guys a few of them here. Now, not all of them are really dark purple. In fact, very few of them are really dark purple. Um, but we didn't go prospecting all day or anything. We only spent about an hour or an hour and a half digging around and seeing what we could find. But, I mean, really nice finds out there for sure. Really nice. The scenery is just so gorgeous up here we went up that canyon and pan and back look at the view of the kingstons and over there to mount charleston we're making our way back down the wash towards the cars great place to rock hound out here guys it's gorgeous scenery too one thing i just love about this place guys is how remote it is i mean look at that and the scenery is just world class out here in the kingston mountains in southern california and you can rock hound for as much as you want because it's BLM land, so it's legal to take what you find. Lots of quartz, lots of amethyst out here. Of course, gorgeous views. And we really brought all the tools out here. We got the pickaxe, we got the shovels, we got the bucket because we did, took it upon ourselves to clean up the trash out here because it's just, it's a travesty how littered this place is. There were beer cans everywhere, water bottles, plastic everywhere, and uh, you know, we decided to be good Samaritans and pick up the trash and we put it all in that orange bucket. So yeah, we have, we got buckets, boy. So one thing I want to tell you guys, is if you come out here, please respect the land and don't trash the place because you know, when you destroy our wild lands, you destroy it for everybody. And you know, pollution is one of the biggest problems that we face today. And everybody can just do their part by not littering and not being a schmuck, leaving your beer out. So, uh, that's my spiel. So how would you guys rate your uh, rock hounding for amethyst experience out here in the Kingston range? 100%, 110%. 10 out of 10? Okay, I like that. What about y'all? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? As hot as it is out here right now, which is 100. 100, okay, I like that, I like that. but it's 100. Okay. This is, this is a really nice place to go uh, rock hounding, and it's what, like two hours from Vegas, I would say? not too far it's way off the beaten path so uh be prepared my backpack is probably like 70 pounds filled with rocks and stuff but uh hey the life of a geologist thank you for tuning in to another episode of solomon's vegas adventures if you enjoy content like this please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other adventures right here as always guys peace